Hello cherry lovers. Today I'm going to be sharing with you this delicious fall creamy roasted butternut squash pasta with sausage and spinach and it is delicious so stay tuned. Okay guys we're going to go over the ingredients. We're going to begin with the uh, butternut squash. I have here four cups of butternut squash and we're going to use a tablespoon of olive oil with that and here I have one teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper and that's what we're going to use to do our butternut squash. Now the next thing we're going to uh, talk about is our smoked sausage. Now you can use smoked sausage, you can use polar sausage, you can use turkey sausage. I'm using today the Cajun style smoked sausage and also you're going to need with the sausage is a tablespoon of olive oil. The next thing we're going to talk about is the creamy pasta sauce. You're going to need with that another tablespoon of olive oil. You're going to also need four cloves of garlic. You're going to need six ounces of spinach. You're going to need one cup of heavy cream and also a third cup of Parmesan shredded cheese. And you're going to also use with that a fourth teaspoon of salt. Now your last ingredient is the uh, bow tie pasta. You're going to use six ounces of the bow tie pasta. And just in case I didn't say it for your sausage, you're going to actually use uh, preferably 10 ounces but you can use 14 ounces if you like, but for the, the recipe calls for 10 ounces of sausage. So you would have a little bit left over from that packet. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to uh, simply, it's real easy to chop up the uh, smoked sausage. Remember I said you need to take the casing off of it and you're just gonna slice it and slice it and slice it. And all I do is take a couple of pieces, cut that in half, turn it, and then cut it into three. And you've got those pieces and that's how you get that size right there. Very simple. Cut it in half, turn it, cut it and cut it. And there you go. One more time. Very simple. And that's how you do your sausage. Your smoked sausage, just cut it up in those little bitty pieces. Okay guys, the next thing I want to show you is the size of your butternut squash pieces. As you can see, these are the pieces, these are the sizes. They're quite small. You want to chop them up into little fine pieces, just about like that, so you can see them. And what we're going to do here, we're going to take and put our butternut squash in this bag. And then you want to measure a tablespoon of olive, about a tablespoon. You only want to use a tablespoon of olive oil onto your butternut squash. And then we're going to put our salt and pepper in there. And then we're just going to kind of mix this around. Mix it up really good so your salt and your pepper can get all over the butternut squash. And also, at this point, you want to uh, preheat your oven to 400. So while you're doing this, your oven will be coming up to temperature. 400 degrees. And as you can see, I have this pan here. You can get, make sure you get a pan where you can spread out your butternut squash. You don't want it to touch. And if it is touching, uh, too much just get you another pan and put two pans in the oven So you want to spread this out now the point of all of this is so that your butternut squash can kind of get a little bit brown a Little crunchy so that it won't be too soft. It's okay if it's soft if you prefer it not being crunchy That's perfectly fine, but that requires you to spread it out so that they won't touch too much and Then it, it can be browned It'll be a little bit crunchier, a little bit with a crunchy topping or a crust on it. Okay, so we've got this on there. And you spread that out. And I, if you use four cups, you might need two pans because that's what I usually have to do. Four cups. And you can just put half and half. Now... When I'm done with this, I'm going to pop this into the oven for 30 minutes. 
you can set my, I usually set mine from 25 to 30. Just make sure you watch it after 25 minutes and you don't want it to go overly brown, but pop it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. And then I'll show you what to do from there. And one more thing <laughs> before he cuts it off. I have a pot of water here. While you are baking this in the oven, you're going to turn your, um, uh, put your, get your pot ready. So you already have the water. That's one less thing you have to do, but you don't have to actually turn the pot on until you take out your butternut squash until your butternut squash is done. Cause if you have to do two uh, pans, you might have to only have room in your oven for the first 30 minutes, but I have room in my oven for two pans so I can do them at the same time. And then while you're, um, once you take this out, you're going to make your pasta sauce. And while you're making your pasta sauce, you will then turn your oven or turn your pot on for your bow tie pasta. Cause it's only going to have to cook about 13, 14 minutes. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. Now we are 15 minutes in on the butternut squash. So now we're going to start to assemble this. So by the time the butternut squash is done, we can add that in and we'll be done. First thing I want you to do is turn on your pot for your bow tie pasta. I've turned it up on high to get me a nice boil going. And uh, next we're going to start making our pasta sauce. First thing you want to do, let me say this. We have um, our smoked sausage here. A lot of smoked sausages are already pre-cooked, fully pre-cooked. So if you have, if you're using the fully uh, cooked sausage, you will not need a whole tablespoon of olive oil. Use just a few sprinkles, which is what I'm going to use. Let me turn my eye on, turn it down to about a medium. And we're just going to sprinkle just a few drops. That's probably about a little less than a half a tablespoon. And then we're going to switch this around, let that get hot. And then you're just going to add in your sausage. You say, well, then if it's already fully cooked, why are you cooking it some more? I'm not actually cooking it. I'm just heating it through. So we're going to drop the smoked sausage into that skillet and we're going to heat it through. And then we're going to take that out and set it aside. And then we're going to continue to assemble. So um, remember that when you are making your pasta, you don't want it al dente. Al dente is just firm because it's going to be too chewy. I tried it that way because I was thinking, well, I'm adding more pasta. I'm adding my pasta to this, you know, this heat that's really hot the rest of the food. So it's not going to really cook because once you add that pasta in there, you're practically at the end. So it won't cook any further. So you don't want your uh, pasta al dente. You want it fully cooked. So this is going to take 14 minutes on the pasta to cook to get real tender and that's what we want we want it tender you don't want it you know chewy so the next thing we're going to do is uh add in our sausage to the skillet and we're going to just let that and that's only going to take about a minute you don't want it burning hot or browned or anything you just want it heated through so we're going to let that cook in there sit there for a minute and then we're going to put it back and set it off to the side of the stove and we have the rest of our ingredients here. You're going to let that water come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, then you're going to add in your bow tie pasta and let it cook to whatever time it says on your package. Follow your package direction. If it's 10 minutes, 14 minutes to get it soft, then that's what you're going to let it go to. And then you're just going to drain that off. And right now, let me just mix this around. I just wanted that kind of warm, so I turned my temperature up on my stove to about, it's probably about a medium high. Let's take this bowl. And we're just gonna take this out now and set this aside. And then we're just gonna use the same skillet that we're taking the sausage out of to make the creamy sauce for your pasta. And guys, I love this recipe. I didn't know how I would like it because it had butternut squash in it. I've never actually made a butternut squash mixed in a recipe, but we tried this and everyone, children and Larry and myself, it was really, really good. I can't wait to try it on my grandchildren. They're really the ones that um, make the decision as to if it's definitely okay. So now for this part, you're going to need that tablespoon of olive oil. You add that in there. 
and your skillet is already kind of warm move that around and the next thing you're going to add in I can actually hear that skillet sizzling so that's ready you're going to add in your garlic put your garlic in and most of you know I love garlic even though this calls for four cloves I'm sure I use five but you can just do it to your taste I got a piece there dropped in there <laughs> okay you can add it according to your taste I love garlic garlic really seasons food and I just love the flavor now we've got the garlic in there we're going to add in the spinach and you want the spinach to get nice and wilted once it starts to wilt and then we will add other ingredients but right now we just want to kind of move that around so it will start to wilt and it's going to take about five to seven minutes for this to wilt down so we're going to do it a little bit at a time and just get it stirred as you can see it's wilting down pretty quick so we'll keep adding it in there and I'm going to finish this off camera get this down wilted and then I'll be right back okay now as you can see my spinach is starting to wilt actually it's pretty wilted and the next step we're going to do is add in our cream okay you just want to get that stirred get that cream pretty mixed up in there now what you want to do at this point is bring this spinach to a quick boil but a brief boil you don't want it to boil for long periods you just want to bring it to a boil and then we're going to turn the heat down to a simmer but we're going to turn that up just a bit to get it to that brief boil let's make sure our spinach is completely covered and once it comes to that boil that is the point that we're going to uh, add in our cheese but right now guess what look here that pot is come to a boil so what we're going to do while we're waiting on that to come to a quick boil we're just going to add in our bow tie pasta and we're going to uh, let that cook for my recipe calls for 13, 14 minutes but I'm going to set it on 13 minutes because I don't want it to overcook and we push start there now this has come to that brief boil you want to turn this back down And we're going to add in our cheese. We're going to put that on a low temperature. All right. Now we've got our. Now let's talk about this cheese. We don't want the green container of cheese. We want the Parmesan freshly shredded. Well, we know if you buy it in the store, it's not freshly shed, freshly shredded. But you don't want the powdered Parmesan cheese in that green jar. You want the parmesan cheese that is actual shredded cheese and you put your cheese in there and you just stir that up get everything nice and mixed you want to put that leave that on that simmer until the uh, cheese is completely melted and at this point you can add in whatever amount of salt and pepper you want let me grab a quick spoon or spatula over here I need to make sure that that's not sticking it's not but we're gonna drop the heat down we've got a nice boil going I'm gonna drop that down to a medium okay let's get this cheese nice and completely stirred and it's time guys believe it or not the time is gone by it's time to remove our butternut squash from the oven and I'm going to do that and I'll be right back okay guys I just wanted to show you about what this looks like this is the first pan I have another one but it just looks like it's got a nice little crunchy coating uh, and this is what it turns out to look like we just pulled that out of the oven but now we want to come over here 
and make sure you don't forget to set your timer on your pasta. I've got my timer going on the pasta and at this point you've got that cheese nice and melted. We're going to add a little bit of salt. Yeah, here's my salt. And remember, you just season it to your taste. I say this often on camera. Larry does not like the way I salt my food. So I always tell him, if it's not enough salt, Larry, then you can just add it later because I'm not a high salt person. I don't like a lot of salt. But of course, if you're using spinach and you're using this uh, cream, you're going to need a little salt in it. And don't forget, though, that you've got your sausage. And the sausage usually has sodium in it. If you're... Um, sausage is kind of salty then you will use a little bit less salt but just do it to your preference okay mmm the garlic and the spinach it smells so good okay we are going to add in our sausage to this And then we're just going to stir that up. Get it nice and mixed. Okay. Our pasta is not quite ready, so we're going to let that pasta finish cooking. And we're going to keep this on a low. A low simmer for about another five or six minutes waiting on the pasta and then we're gonna assemble the entire recipe I'll be right back okay guys we're gonna put the final ingredients together now try to remember once you put the cheese in here I want to make sure I don't forget to tell you that once the cheese is mixed and melted you have to remove it from the eye you don't want to leave it on the eye so mine is ready but we've got the bow tie pasta here and I've already drained it so don't forget to drain it and then we're going to add in the pasta oh, we got a little bit left in there okay and then you just want to mix that up and I have here the two cups of butternut squash that I cooked that I baked in the oven. So what you want to do, you want to take half. You don't have to measure this. It doesn't have to be perfectly measured, but you want to put half of it into your recipe. Just about half. And then you want to mix that up. Kind of fold it. You don't have to, you know, stir it a lot because you don't want to over do it. And once you get that mixed through there and the very next step which is of course the last step is to sprinkle your butternut pieces right over the top. I'm going to take that out. Put that around. This is so delicious. And like I said, it's a wonderful fall comfort food. Okay, there is your recipe. It is delicious. Now, what we're going to do next is let our taste tester, because Larry agreed to taste test this time. He hasn't been taste testing in a while. But today he's going to taste test this recipe. So hang on, and I'll be right back. Okay, cheery lovers. Joyce made this fantastic dish. I'm going to try it. I've had it before, so I know it is fantastic. But this stuff is, you know, she tried it, and we said, well, we'll try it before we film it. We tried it. We love it. We are filming it. So. Wow. Delicious. I mean, 100% delicious. We love doing these videos with you. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up right there. Come back and see us. And as you can hear in the background, our buddy, 
likes this so much too, he wants some of it. So like and subscribe, come back and see us. Joyce loves making these videos, these cooking videos for you. She wants you guys to come back. So until next time, we'll see you later. Bye now.